I think I'm live. I don't know. Hey, uh, greetings, everybody. Welcome. Uh, welcome to um, Live Courageously. This was going to be um, my 11th uh, podcast of the year. I've done 10 previously, but I'm having uh, technical problems here. So uh, we're going to postpone this one. I'm just going to kind of take advantage of this to do a little quick um, kind of update on on some other things. Uh, today, I was supposed to have uh, a good friend of mine, um, a military vet, his family, uh, U.S. Army vet, um, Army recruiter. His family came from Syria. Um, he served in the U.S. Army, worked uh, after that, went to film school, and we connected uh, at a L.A. film school, and I became a mentor towards him, and he's been a producer. And he's also uh, created a bunch of different kinds of programs, including some film festivals, uh, his own film company. Uh, anyway, his name is George Ohan. But today he is up in uh, somewhere south of Tahoe and his technology, the, the link is just not working. So the, the so I'm, um, I'm just kind of going to take advantage of this and say that we will come back. Um, but I'll introduce, uh, take advantage since I did schedule the show and, and people are already on here. So um, George is on via um, uh, text, I guess, but uh, everybody else. So this is a Live Courageously podcast. This was going to be my 11th show of the year. I did 10, then took a hiatus when I went to um, Minnesota to line produce a feature film that uh, we did. And I recently got back from that. So I'm kind of restarting up this Live Courageously podcast and had three scheduled in a row. So next week I have a, um, a guest, Ira Davis, with uh, Dream Diver, and he is a former U.S. Marine, uh, also a drill instructor, and he also created a company. The week after that, I have Barry Shore, who has um, created the Keep Smiling movement, both of them very amazing, courageous individuals. And then, of course, George Ohan, who is supposed to be my guest today, which we will reschedule him and find a time when the technology works. So everybody who's joined me, I'm going to keep this fairly brief today since it's just me talking. So it's kind of like a Facebook Live as opposed to uh, my uh, Live Courageously podcast. So everybody who is expecting George, I apologize. And, um, uh, you know, but you'll get another chance to uh, connect with him in the future. I just came from a um, screen and I was scrambling I was thinking that I was going to be the problem instead of the tech, but I just came from a screening of uh, um, 13 Lives, a feature film that uh, screened today on IMAX with the director, Ron Howard was there and some of the cast, Viggo Mortensen and a couple of the other cast members. And that um, feature that I had a chance to both see, and it's a pretty, pretty amazing story about people, how people risk their lives to save these 13 boys in Thailand when they were trapped in a cave. And some of you may have remembered that story. So it's going to be on Amazon Prime coming up soon. So you'll get a chance to take a look at it. So if you get a chance, um, uh, it was a good experience to for me to be able to hear Ron Howard speak about the making of uh, 13 Lives and some of the cast and speaking with the issues of Thailand and cultural issues. And just it's just a powerful story about people who for no financial gain, for no political gain, for nothing but willing to risk their lives to save these uh, boys who were trapped in the cave. And you probably, like I said, I'm sure you heard of the story, but if you get a chance uh, take a look at 13 Lives. And also, since I am on here, I'm gonna also tell you, check out, I, I don't watch, I, I almost never watch a series on TV because I don't have the interest of the time or whatever, but I just recently watched the terminal list that a Navy SEAL buddy of mine, uh, Ray Mendoza, was a technical advisor and another one of his uh, SEAL buddies who I also know was in it. So the terminal list, I recommend it. It's very exciting. Uh, and that's on Amazon Prime as well. So anyway, um, that's a little bit. I don't know who's on here, if anybody's on here. I got some comments coming on. But um, Dave Ausbach saying, sorry, things didn't work out. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, Welcome to the, the world of tech, man. But, you know, it, it's all good. You know, this year um, I've got planned at least another 30 um, friends of mine who are pretty courageous people from all walks of life. 
who uh, I'll be uh, interviewing on a weekly basis. And so that'll be something that I hope you join us. And if you have people that you want to recommend me, you can uh, direct message me on Facebook on anybody that would be cool for me uh, to uh, interview. Uh, Brian uh, just jumped on and said, yeah, Terminal List was damn good. I agree. Um, Brian, when I first watched the first episode, I wasn't sure I was going to watch the second one. Um, but I, I'm glad I did. And I, like I said, because my friend was the the tech advisor, I had to watch it so I could talk to him about it. And it just grew on me and grew on me and grew on me. And it was a well done, great story and uh, definitely recommend it. But, you know, back to the purpose of this, I'm going to kind of tell you a little bit about what this is, because some people will watch this uh, later and they'll be like, uh, what happened to your guest? So anyway, he, he couldn't make it because of his tech. But uh, this show, I created this podcast um, uh, to share stories of some courageous friends I've honored to know and have in my life. And I chose the title of Live Courageously because that's been the conscious theme of my life for the last two years since the beginning of the pandemic in 2020. And it's also, I guess, been an unconscious theme of, of my whole life. And if you haven't seen the previous 10 podcasts with some amazing friends, with some powerful stories of overcoming all odds, to live their best life. You can watch them on Live Courageously, my YouTube channel, and also on Death Square Film, film on Rumble. Um, I, I recommend you check them out. And unlike myself, maybe binge watch them. Um, they're better than Netflix, and they'll give you a, a large dose of uh, courage. And you know, when I started this podcast, I keep meeting, since I started, I keep meeting and becoming friends with even more courageous people uh, to have on the show. And even this week, I met a, a Marine who has um, got an organization called uh, um, Save Our Service uh, Members, which he's dealing with some issues of uh, how the service people have been treated and the loss of his son in the Marine Corps, unfortunately, and what was not done properly. So I'll be introducing and inviting him on at some point. And then I'm you know busy with uh, all my film stuff. And this year, my focus is to uh, make a push besides all the films that I'm working on is to uh, make a push with uh, two memoirs that I wrote. The first one called Black Irish, Not Your Average White Boy, and the other one called Mal to Reagan, A Born Again American. And both of them are memoirs of different parts of, of my life from the South Bronx to Hollywood and beyond. And so, um, but I, what I like to do, you know, besides doing Facebook Lives, which is this is kind of like a pivot to a half of a Facebook Live today. I prefer to have on people that I can interview who are courageous people. And like I said, I've been blessed with knowing so many amazing people in my life who, who live courageously in the world. So that's kind of why I created this show and hope uh, I continue to uh, share their stories and you sh uh, join me and share them with your friends. Um, and Ryan, just jumping back on the terminal list, says, yeah, it started out pretty so slow. Uh, and that terminal list is the series with Chris Pratt that's on uh, Amazon Prime. And then it just hit. I had a great, I agree with you, Ryan. Uh, it hit and then it kept hitting. And then I was like, okay, what's happening next? And I must say it took me all the way to the end, to the last episode where I did not expect the uh, what happened. So I, I think you'll go on a good journey if you check it out. Uh, Renee uh, says, um, great to see you, John Duffy. It's all about sharing our voices and lift humanity. Uh, 100%, um, Renee, 100%. And just like I said a little bit in the beginning, just coming from watching this um, feature film by Ron Hobbit, uh, uh, Howard, 13 Lives, where, you know, he fictionalized but told the story of uh, these people who came. Over 5,000 volunteers came from all over the world, including these cave divers who came in and boat, uh, rescued these kids who were trapped in the... Uh, uh, caves in, in uh, Thailand, and there's also a documentary on it, but I, I, I haven't seen the documentary, but the feature film is pretty, uh, pretty intense and pretty uplifting when you realize how people, um, when what we accomplish when we come together for others and, and we sacrifice for others and what we can accomplish when we do that. And I think the movie has a great message and is uh, definitely worth uh, taking a look on. If anybody... Um, wants to jump on. Like I said, you know, I, I wasn't, <laughs> I had a whole plan of an interview for my buddy, George. And one of the things we were going to talk about was um, one of the films um, that I had the uh, 
fun opportunity of directing two short films called The Flag. And George was the producer on that and put it together. And I came in and stepped in to kind of uh, direct in it and also uh, line producing it. And we ended up taking it to the GI Film Festival. So that was just one of the topics that I was going to be uh, sharing. But we'll do that next time when I actually get George on and share his amazing story. So uh, what else can I tell you today? And like I said, I'm going to keep this um, pretty short because, uh, it, it, you know, um, it's, it's better when I can interview somebody and get their story out there. But anybody has anybody that you would like me to interview, please uh, reach out to me on Facebook, direct message me and, and, and tell me who they are, because I'm kind of focused for, for now on interviewing probably 30, 40 of the people I know personally in my life. And then I'm going to start and maybe into weaving of uh, pivoting out and interviewing people who I don't know, who are not uh, personal friends, but I'd like to obviously get to know them. And then maybe through the show, they will become friends. So I'm hoping to do more of that as well. Renee says, I'd love to reconnect. This is amazing. It's 100% about serving others. I indeed, Renee, and I hope you're doing good. Renee's someone who we met at a uh, transformational event and also wrote a book and is somebody who's out there uh, doing her thing, uh, you know, reaching and inspiring others. So Renee uh, is somebody definitely, you know, I could have on the show in the future. Um, yes, she said, I'd love to be on the show. Yes, I'd love to have you on, Renee. Uh, Dave says Danny Roebuck. And Danny is, uh, and by the way, since I'm just kind of a free form in here today and didn't expect to do this, Dave uh, Osbach is uh, my good brother, um, Special Forces uh, uh, Army, was in Vietnam. He was the one who created uh, the whole thing, the flag. He created it. He wrote it, produced it. He acted in the, in the narrative uh, fictional piece. And well, we worked together on it. He was part of, um, obviously, I went on the journey with him supporting his project, taking it to the GI Film Festival in Washington, D.C., which was an amazing experience for all of us. And so one of the people that was in the movie uh, was a, is an actor, Danny Roebuck, who Dave is suggesting, is he's suggested it before to me, is um, somebody that uh, would be good to have on as uh, the podcast show. So definitely Danny is somebody who's on my list. And I know him from um, directing him when he did the flag for us and know of his work and, and know of... Um, some of the work that uh, Dave has done with him, uh, feature films. So that's a little bit of that. Uh, what else can I say today? Um, um, you know, got the, I, I'm, I'll probably do another um, uh, Facebook Live that I'll kind of focus more on some of my projects, some of the stuff I'm doing with uh, uh, upcoming movies, including the Termite movie. And like I mentioned earlier, my, my two memoirs that I'm trying to get either a traditional publisher for them, or I'm going to self-publish them this year, either or, depending on uh, what I can accomplish uh, as the year goes on. So um, I think, you know, uh, you know, I'm not usually somebody who is at a loss for words, but since I wasn't prepared for that, I'm going to say rather than just kind of babbling on for much longer, I'm just going to say thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining in and thank you for checking this out and you know, stay tuned every, it's going to usually be every Sunday at 2 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time on Facebook Live, my Live Courageous podcast show. And um, I have a lot of great guests coming on in the future and that I want to share their stories with you and uh, feel free to share it um, and share my Facebook uh, posts to other people so that they can uh, get involved with this. And once again, the whole, you know, to sum up and to finish up, that, um, you know, the last couple of years, have kind of, I've seen a lot of people, unfortunately, go into places of uh, fear and retreat and, and um, limitation, as opposed to finding the way through it and finding a way to overcome the fear. And, and you know, I've learned in life, you know, I, uh, both from just my personal life or where I grew up in the South Bronx, but I go back to when I did my first fire walk with Tony Robbins and walked across hot coals is that I learned the um, lesson that I carried with me for the rest of my life, that fear is a warning, but fear isn't something that you should uh, use to stop you or should uh, prevent you from going forward 
or prevent you from uh, uh, restricting your life. Fear is just a warning. So you see danger, you say, okay, danger. And then you find a way through the danger, around the danger, over the danger, but you don't let fear uh, paralyze you or stop you. So because of that, that um, lesson that I learned and that metaphor is that I've felt that people need to, especially when times get hard, whether it's because of financial reasons or because of situations in the city, in their city, the world, pandemics, et cetera, that fear just tells you there's a danger. But if you don't choose and make a choice at that point to live courageously and to find a way to go forward, your life becomes to restrict, your life becomes to become smaller and you start to live in fear. And fear is an emotion that does not improve your life, does not empower you, it weakens you if you stay in it. Once you've noticed it, um, once you've acknowledged the problem, then I say go for the solution. And the big solution that I recommend, and that's why I'm doing these podcasts, is to live your life courageously and find a way to always uh, overcome uh, any obstacles that life throws at you, no matter what they are. And model people, model the people in life who are courageous people. And there's so many of them in every aspect of life who have found a way to go out into the world and, and, and be those courageous people. And that's what you should model your life on. And that's what I would suggest. And that, as I wrap it up today, um, just say, um, whatever you do, you know, we don't know what's coming at us in the future. We just kind of got through a, two difficult years and it may, it may get better, it may get worse, uh, it may get a lot worse. But whatever it does, you always have a choice. And the choice is how you respond to it. You always have a choice as to to make a decision. Do you do you uh, quit or do you go forward? Um, I say you never quit. You never uh, and you always go forward and you find that way to go co uh, live courageously. So to everybody out here watches my uh, podcast and even if it's only uh, one person I touch, please you know take that message, live courageously to heart, share it with others. Be somebody who uh, like in the movie today, thirteen lives. Be somebody who's willing to. Put yourself out there to make it better for others when others are in need. So that's my message. Uh, I'm John Duffy, and this is my podcast show, Live Courageously. And um, thank you, everybody who uh, watches it live or watches it on replay. And um, you know, always, uh, if if you got stories that you got want to share with me or s projects that you're doing or or things that I can support you on, please reach out to me so I can do that as well. Uh, I'm going to just wrap it up now. Renee says, thank you for your service, Dave Osbach. And Ryan says, good stuff, John. I'll be tuning in in the future episodes. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Renee. Um, look forward to reaching out again to you, Renee, and reconnecting. And Dave, as usual, thank you, brother. Uh, and, and, you know, you got to be on my uh, show as well. What am, what am I doing? Um, you know, uh, so anyway, we got, we, we got some work to do. Everybody have a great uh, weekend. Have a great Sunday. Um, Dave says, thank you. It was an honor to serve. And he continues to. So thank you, Dave. And Dave's a great brother of mine. And to everybody else, have a fantastic Sunday. Have a fantastic week. And I look forward to seeing you next Sunday at 2 p.m. on Facebook Live with my guest, Ira Davis, a U.S. Marine um, and a uh, transformational coach. Uh, and his company is called Dream Divers, where he takes people diving out of planes to dive for their dreams. You'll, you'll really uh, love uh, Ira. He has a powerful message that will inspire you, transform you, and um, encourage you uh, to live courageously. So come back uh, next week. And and another uh, friend of mine, a veteran who is also a student of mine, says, find, and when I was a professor uh, at his film program, said, find the humor. Uh, Ken uh, says, find the humor in the situation at hand, too, John Duffy. It helps a lot. 100% can and, and you know, uh, find the humor and also be willing to laugh at yourself because, you know, there's a lot of things that I've done in my life and boy, can I laugh at some of the things I've done. So yes, have that sense of humor, Ken. And on that note, everybody have a great weekend. Uh, take care until I see you next week. God bless and have a great one. Bye.